When working with stock that has been pre-machined, neither the rectangle nor the cylindrical stock options may suit your needs. In these cases, you may need to create a solid model to represent the true stock shape. I'll select the Features tab, the top plane, Sketch, and I'll look normal to that plane. Then I'll use the intersection curve. Select these faces. Accept these selections and then close the intersection curves. I'll look normal to my sketch again. I'll now delete the lower half and these two lines. Merge these two points. and these two. Next I'll create a center line to revolve my solid around. Exit the sketch. Select the Features ribbon and Revolve Base. I'll be certain to uncheck the Merge results and accept these settings. Now I'll have two solid bodies, the original and the new one. I'll select this Revolve and make its color red. Then hide the original solid and select the Master Cam tab. I'll select the stock setup from the toolpath window to open up the machine group property window to the stock setup tab. Here I'll select the radio button under shape options to create a solid stock. I'll select the arrow beside the solid option. This will minimize the window so I can see all the geometry unobstructed. Next I'll select this solid, accept this selection, Enable the display of stock and accept these settings. I'll return to the Features tab, make the original solid visible, and hide the stock model solid I created. When I return to Mastercam, the wireframe stock can be seen. I can turn the stock display on and off. and I can also change its shading from translucent to wireframe.